Hello, mis amores. Cristina here. Today we're gonna be doing a video using only the products that I got in my Ipsy and in my BoxyCharm box. I think I got really good products to do like a full face look. The only thing I'm not going to be using is this glycolic body scrub. Uh, so I'm only going to be doing face and skincare video. So I'm just gonna be putting this to the side right here. But again, in front of me, everything else that I need. And this is a combination of BoxyCharm and also Ipsy products. And if you didn't know, the Glam Bag is five deluxe beauty samples delivered to your home for $14. And then we have BoxyCharm, which is five full-size products delivered to your home for only $30 a month. I'm gonna first start with the Aid Sane Up The Anti Anti-Aging Night Cream. This is a hyaluronic acid and it's nice cyanamide cream. So I think this is definitely gonna help me out and alert out the pores. And really to make sure that my skincare is going to look great throughout the day. I'm going to take a little bit of this in the back of my hand. And I do have to say I love the texture of this cream. Because it doesn't feel like super heavy at all. I'm bad to be honest. I really like it. Just so you all know this is one of the full size products that I got in my BoxyCharm box. I'm going to go ahead with the Watermelon Dream All in One Eye Cream. And this is from the brand Dallas and James Skincare. I never heard about this brand, to be honest with y'all. And I think this is why Ipsy is beneficial in these terms of in terms of like trying out new brands that they that I never heard about before. Ooh. The eye cream does really smell a lot like watermelon. I wonder if it has actual watermelon extract on the formula or if it's just like watermelon scent. You know what I mean? So far it just feels kind of tightening, so I kind of like it. Uh, but we'll see how she performs in a little bit. Next, I'm going to try that Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. This is one that I'm also really, really excited about just because I heard so many good things about Innisfree. And I love sunscreen. I love trying out new sunscreens. I love the texture that it gives me. This one specifically, oh my god, this scent is delicious. Wait a minute, why is the perfume so good? Honestly, it smells like a tropical vacation. This is amazing. I am like, what? Love the scent. Love, 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 love the scent so much. It doesn't feel tacky on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels balanced. It feels good. Next, I'm gonna set the brows using the light brow definer. And this product really does remind me a lot of the ABA. I do love their little spatula, so I'm gonna take a little bit with the back of the spatula. And this I'm just gonna apply it in this brow hair area to really make them really, really flat. The difference between one and the other, it's pretty good actually. So I do love how flat they look. A lot better. This brow versus this brow, such a difference. I don't know if y'all can see the detailing, but I honestly love these brows. They came out really, really cute. These AB dupe really did the thing. I'm, I'm really, really happy. I'm gonna put it on this side. This is the side of all of the products that I've used already. Um, and the ones that I have not used are here. So, we're gonna go ahead and actually do two in one using the, key, the Neen eyeshadow brush. This is a two-in-one brush, and I'm going to use the Laura Geller palette. I'm only going to use two shades because I really want to do a like, simple, basic look for everyday moment. The look that I'm doing today is very simple, very everyday, so I'm not really going to be doing too much. And I think this brush is going to be perfect for that. I really want blending and want to apply like, shimmer color and that's it. We're first going to take this Marigold shade. And to be honest with y'all, when I heard about Marigold in the past, I never expected it to be this dark simmer like brown but yeah everybody names their eyeshadows a little bit different so anyway i'm just gonna take the marigold shade wait she's actually pigmented wasn't expecting her to be this corn tone pigmented but she is so i'm just gonna take a little bit more of her and just use to create this crease moment simple that's it we're not doing much today and of course i'm repeating the same step on the other side of the face and now, literally, I'm going to flip the brush, and with the other side of the brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of Connie Flower. And I'm scared, because that one was really pigmented, Marigold, and I wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented. 
So let's hope for this one to be just a little bit more toned down. Because I just want a tiny bit of like this the inner corner shimmer. Ooh, you gonna just realize about this cunning flower shade is that it's not just like a glitter, like a gold glitter reflex. It also has a little bit of green in that gold, which is different and unique. And now that I realize, all of the golds, they have a different undertone in this palette. So, more impressed than what I was in the past with this palette, I'm not gonna lie. When I first opened it, she wasn't really giving me a wow moment. But now that I apply and I use a little bit of the shades, I realized that she could be really, really cute. I'm gonna be doing a different look using the shade Poppy and the shade Tiger Lily just because that brown and green moment, I think that they will look really, really pretty. It just doesn't go with what I'm going for today. I'm impressed by this Laura Geller. I knew that her quality of the shadows were good, but now that I put it on me, I'm like, yeah, they're good, good. <laughs> now let's continue to the other last two products in this box. So the next one is the Black Card Mascara. This is a lift and curling mascara from Il Maquillage. And I'm gonna use it to finish this eye look. What I'm excited to see is this new one style. Honestly, I've seen it in different, in the REM mascara and other mascaras like this, but ooh, wait a minute. Wow. Can y'all see the difference between this eye and this eye? I'm obsessed. When I was doing the unboxing, if you've seen my unboxing video, which I'm gonna leave down here, I was telling y'all that like, honestly, did not like the eyeshadows from Il Maquillage that I have tried in the past. So I wasn't really expecting, honestly, anything good from this mascara. But why is she this good? Why is she eating me up? She's like, give me eat my words because it's really, really good and it lengthened them a lot. A lot more than what I was honestly expecting. I like this a lot. Now to really finish this look, we're going to use a little bit of the Bare Mineral Complexion Rescue Bronzer. And this is a blush and also a bronzer. So this is a two-in-one product. This one came in my Ipsy, and as you can see, it's just a sample. Oh, wow, wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold up, holiday. It's like a little blending brush. This is like very pigmented. I'm, I'm scared. Oh my god. They didn't tell me that it was going to be... This pigmented. Can you imagine if I would have gone all the way in with this? Wow. No, this is like actually. I was. I went too hard. I literally took one little dot and I was like, this is not gonna be enough. At the beginning, I honestly saw it and it, it looked and it gave me that impression of those blendable berry, those liquid blushes that they blend out into anything basically. But this is definitely not that. <laughs> and something that I do love is that the contact, the pressure, I think the pigment application itself, it's a good base. It's a really, really beautiful base. As you can see, I can easily blend it into my skin. But also, it's giving me that perfect clutch moment that it was saying. So, honestly, I think this is kind of my favorite product that I was not expecting because look how tiny she is and look how much she blended. Look at my skin. It's this beautiful blush contour moment. I'm obsessed. And just to finish, finish, finish the look, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Other Perfume. Their perfume that also came in my boxy charm box. I'm almost only two spritz. That is enough. And this is it, Miss Amores. I smell delicious. I feel delicious. I look delicious. Definitely this Ipsy slash BoxyCharm box were amazing. I don't have to say much. Usually there's one or two products that they did it for me. And for me this time, the, my favorite was of course the Bare Mineral Blush Bronzer Moment. As you can see, it looked really, really beautiful on my skin, but not just that. Like, it made me feel pretty, which is something that I want. And of course, the Fenty Beauty perfume. We all want to smell like Rihanna. We all want to look at least 10% as beautiful as Rihanna. And I feel like with these products and this box, I did that. Thank you, Ipsy, for sending me these goodies. If y'all didn't know, this was not a sponsored video, but they did gift me these products, so I wanted to show you all what can I do with my products. And then maybe you can let me know in the comments down below what products do you get and what kind of looks do you do with your products.
If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I do a lot of product reviews and makeup tutorials that are always trying to help you become the best and most confident version of yourself. So don't forget to click the button down below to subscribe, hit that bell so you can get a notification every time that I upload a new video, and I'll see you in the next one, mis amores. Bye!